ಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮಸ್ಥಾಪಕಸ್ವರ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪಕ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಹಾಚಾರ್ಯೋ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ವಿರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನರೇಂದ್ರನಾಥ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯಶ್ನ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಏಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಏಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೂ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ we just read one paragraph today now if you can notice one shift in the name shram krishna is this and narendra shram krishna is testing and narendra now narendra is coming first narendra is we have changed the modified a little narendra is learning from the world and from the master and narendra is learning from the world various things should be told from the social interaction and from his college studies the study of western science and philosophy that is all one side and one side is continuously learning from shri ramakrishna uh, <clears throat> we are at the first para where master compares himself as woman and narendra as man and sardana samaj has explained by telling shri ram krishna proceeded in sadhana with faith and narendra proceeded in reason now we come to the second para <laughs> narendra's education from environment same thing learning his free thinking skepticism and non acceptance of the doctrine of the need of guru so this is from the world huh? from environment what he has learned from environment free thinking skepticism skepticism you understood doubting everything and non acceptance of the doctrine of the need of the guru guru was asvikar pravruti that is missing in english etc so pravruti ha pravruti mane etc not pravruti 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 means etc uh, this this need of the guru etc hmm? because so many things you get told so main thing she has pointed out <clears throat> environment plays a great part in influencing and molding human life at all times and in all places environment pariparshvik avastha environment is not nature huh? environment means nature of its surroundings climate how much it will in the city surroundings we would say social surroundings environment plays a great part in influencing and molding human life at all times and in all places 
it is therefore not at all surprising environment contains parents uh, everything parents peers society media and etc college it is therefore not at all surprising that its power and influence is seen in narendra's life narendra is part of the world and that is why he is helpful as our ideal he is not removed from us like a villager even before going to the master narendra by the exercise of his uncommon intellect became well versed in english literature that is the first part of environment european and indian histories and western logic these are the outside his college syllabus he learned these things and was thoroughly imbued with western ideas so environment has changed it coloring total all these are so important that that is the present modern indian man and so from this how to come out that we will learn from the rendranath whose radical principle of research and free thinking entered into his very marrow as early as then before coming to tagore research and free thinking research here does not mean the academic sense eh? research is anusandhan we could have said search for analysis no there should be some better translation for this ha eh? radical principle of research Mm. Mm, the mix up sentence no. mm -hmm. the bengali is swadin chinta sahe sakal vishay anusandhan anusandhane pravrutto hova roop pashyatir mul mantra oi samaye tar mane majjagat there are not two things only one thing and here and is there this sentence will have to be properly translated tell us what should be the translation in english we met a sentence that environment firstly that word itself is wrong environment plays a great part in narendra's education from indra environment no environment is not natural seasons and all that the surroundings the social surroundings learning in the college learning from friends learning from parents the heading of this chapter is narendra's learning from the world and from the master so out of that first from the world is explaining now what could be better than environment here i would add social environment find out some better word surroundings surrounding circumstances ha huh, circumstances are not there because he is himself doing something surroundings or social surroundings this is ambience is the word but ambience is used in a good sense always so we have to find a proper word for this environment i will say social environment that's all ha huh? our surroundings because it says that it plays a major part in our life <laughs> climate is not play major part the contextually if we take the meaning 
contextually we have to take the meaning. Yeah. So it is therefore know. not at all surprising that its power and influence is seen in Narendra's life. Even before going to the master, <coughs> Narendra, by the exercise of his uncommon intellect, became well versed in English literature, European and Indian histories, and Western logic. Now these have influenced him, and was thoroughly imbued with Western ideas. Now here, the next class is not properly translated, whose radical principle of research and free thinking, two things he is mentioning. The research word is not proper and there is no and in Bengali. Entered into his very marrow as early as then, before coming to Thak. Now I read in Bengali, Thakurer Nikate Jaivar Purvi, Narendra Nija Asadharan, Di Shakti Prabhave, Ingraji Bhash Kavya. Kavya has been translated as literature. All the Sahitya is called Kavya? No. When it is Kavya, then in English it will be poetry. Anyway, but it does not appear to be bad, wrong. And, okay. Now, thoroughly imbued with Western ideas, whose, that means the Western idea, radical principle of research and free thinking. Now I'll read Bengali, huh? Narendra Nija Asadharan Di Shakti Prabhave Ingraji Kavya Sahitya, both are there. Hmm. Then poetry and li other literature, two are there, na? Then there should be two here. Poetry and other literature. Poetry has a greater influence on one's thinking. Ingraji Kavya Sahitya Ityas O Naye Supratishita Hoya Gerber 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 Here he says European and Indian history There is no Indian history here What has happened? From some other edition I have they translated He did study Indian history. It is mentioned previously. Ingraji Kavya Saitya Ityas O Nyaye Supratishya Thoya Paschatya Bhave Vishesh Rupe Bhavi Thoya Chili. Okay. Now, uh, thoroughly embodied Western ideas. I think this sentence should get completed here. Who's now next clause is Swadin Chinta Sahaye Translate now with the help of free thinking. Hmm? Free thinking, mm, then Sadin Chinta Sahaye Sakal Vishay Anusandhane Pravutta Varu Paschate Mulamantra. With the help of free thinking, what will say for Anusandhan here? Hmm? Inquiry. Inquiry. So, inquisitive mind, basically. Yes. Yes, inquiry. This will have to 
remodel this whole sentence. Let us first try to understand, then formulate. That with the help of rethinking, he entered analysis or, as you told just now, inquiry. In all respects, that is the Western ideas they have connected here. That is the basic principle of Western ideas. To analyze or inquire into everything with the help of rethinking, which is the basic principle of Western ideas, and enter deep into him. Here, entered into his very marrow as early as that. Okay? Here the sentence is all Okay, we have not understood the idea. It was there for so free. with the help of free thinking, inquire into everything, and that is the basis of Western ideas. And this has entered deeply into him. Okay. It was therefore natural that he should doubt and in many places consider to be untrue the words of the scriptures. So, after school, Shastra Vulch is all right because Shastra said that's all. So, that is not accepted by the Western ideas. So, we will doubt the Shastras. And in many cases, consider to be untrue. If that inquiry does not fit in there, then it is untrue. The words of the scriptures and sharing from accepting any particular man is the good. Second point. Shastra or Guru. Shastra is someone that doubt of it. And about Guru, he won't accept. Because I am a man and he is a man. That is the Western idea. Teacher can be there in my school, but I will spend my life under the guidance of somebody is absolutely not accepted. And for that he struggled with Thakur for four years. In any sense, except that he was an experienced teacher. Okay. That is accepted. He has an experienced teacher, I am not have that experience. So that much I will learn from him. But I will inquire into everything. Abhigya Shiksha Bhave. No, I doubted because experienced teacher, learned teacher. I suddenly remember a story. I was in Chandigarh. A devotee family, both uh, husband and wife, traditionally devotees, and their son. Their son was studying in the fifth standard in an English medium school. Now in the geography lesson, I don't know how, God came. And the teacher explained it very nicely. But after that, she turned her nose and said, but I don't believe in this. And that boy was shocked like anything. He did not hit his head. But the shock was, and he told his parents, they said, let us go to the ashram, and they told me that she is elder than me. She is teacher and the student. She is more learned than me. Then how is it that she does not understand God which I can understand? That shocked him. Now 
Then I explained to him some, something about 15 20 minutes. Then I asked him, Have you understood? He said, Yes. What is that? Due to these very three things, she has more ego than me. And that has obstructed her. This is Western ideas. Man becomes conceited. I can think everything. Why I require guidance? So remember that incident. So this experienced teacher is anyway, erudite or learned something. Huh? No, third paragraph. Society and his father's life contributed to that education of his. The ideals of life of Narendra's guardians and the condition of the then Calcutta society contributed not a little to that attitude of his. The Calcutta society is influenced by Western ideas fully. And Calcutta here means the modern educated Indian. His grandfather had a great faith in the Hindu scriptures all his life and he became a monk. But Narendra's father lost that faith in consequence of his Western education and free thinking. Consequence of his free thinking. The poems of Hafiz, the Persian poet, and the words of Jesus recorded in the Bible were regarded by him as the highest limit of spiritual ideas. That is the Western influence. It is needless to say that he had to have recourse to those, these books to enjoy the bliss of spiritual thinking because he could not read the Gita and other Hindu Shastras on account of his ignorance of the Sanskrit language. It was told previously about his father that you can extremely learn it in English and the Persian language. But no inclination towards Sanskrit. About Sanskrit, what is the idea of so called modernness? It's a dead language. So, how much spirituality he had? Hafiz poems and Bible. Because Gita he has not read. and other Hindu Shastras on account of his ignorance of the Sanskrit language. When one day he saw Narendra studying religion, he presented a copy of the Bible to him and said, if there be anything called religion, it is in this. Now, here one word struck me, studying religion, dharma charcha, pravato hita dekya. We can say discussing religion or have suggesting something. Discussing others. Actually, so, Charcha in Bengali does not mean only discussion. Cultivating something like that. Okay. Although he does praise the Bible and the poems of Hafiz, he his life was not spiritually molded by the ideas contained in those books. But that is what it is. It is just an entertainment or ideas, not practical religion. So religion means Bible and abyss, and that is not to be practiced. To discuss, to entertain, to find 
enlightenment man or interest only. That's all. That was the Indian society, especially his father. He does not seem to have even felt the need for spirituality. Sardhan is putting very clear, and this father is influencing him. But it derived a sort of momentary pleasure in the company of those books. That's all. The ultimate aim of his life was to earn money, live a happy life himself, and contribute to others' happiness by helping them as far as possible. So, Udharata was there. But the idea of happiness itself was different. Now, modern man has not much changed from this. One can see from this and a study of his daily life what a lax faith he had in God. In God, the self, the next world, etc. Anything super sensuous he has not faith. Lacks faith. Western materialism and the idea that this world was all in all produced in the minds of persons like Narendra's father a terrible doubt about metaphysical entities with super sensuous entities. And in many cases gave rise to atheism. Doubt, disbelief. They had proved beyond doubt, so they thought that there was nothing to learn from our ancient rishis and shastra. Western ideas of proof that was nothing to learn from them. Now, in the basis of all this, you should remember, in 1836, Lord Macaulay introduced, he, he got one bill passed for education of Indians. And there it directly says, I will make them second grade citizens. They should never think that they know something better. And, and they will destroy their self confidence and Confidence in their religion. And to the extent he says, in 30 years I will make Bengalis forget Kali. That does not happen. And today, mind you, our education is not gone outside we call it at all. Two things happened. One is when previous BJP government, Atal Bihari was the Prime Minister, Murli Manohar Joshi was the Education Minister. And he tried a little and they cried saprenizing, saprenizing, he could not proceed. And then came before, after Indira Gandhi. And Indira Gandhi put the whole education and history to the leftists and so-called liberals. Now, when Narendra Modi became Prime Minister, he appointed Smriti Irani as the Education Minister. And she tried again. And again the same shout of suffronizing came. And she was going in a drastic way. So he had to change her. And then the Audekar began. And now, now the thing has started. They are changing the textbooks, they are changing the narratives. In the, in Rajasthan or Gujarat, from standard fifth onwards, Gita will be taught. You know, according to Indian constitution, 
Hindus majority cannot teach religion in schools and colleges. Minorities can teach their religion. In Chandigarh, there was a, in Ashram, there was a forum of many principals and others. So one principal said, I'm teaching Gita in my college. The other said, you can be arrested. According to law, that is not correct. That is the question. And cosmetic changes came. Plus two, plus three. And two excellent reports are there, put in shelves, no political will. There was a Radha Krishnan Commission and has produced an excellent report on how education should be in India. There is a Kothari Commission. Kothari Commission dealt with higher education, universities. And both these reports are in the shed. Nothing doing. In Rajiv Gandhi's time, now I know this history, I am telling you. In Rajiv Gandhi's time, he spread one word, new education policy. And nobody defined it. You ask what is new education policy? The name. That was still funny. So this society, nowadays in what we call celebrities or society, if they have faith in God, he is taken to be unlettered man, credulous. Another thing of uh, Indian society mix up, uh, I saw it in Belmont also perhaps. Now whenever we talk of God, those who believe in God, they will show her. God is still there. Huh? So they had proved beyond doubt. That is what Indians thought. Now this proof logical is no proof at all. I told you the other day. Now, you see, I was the student of mathematics, especially pure mathematics or analysis. And there was a Western philosopher, Bertrand Russell. He was a philosopher. But for his PhD or all that, he selected mathematical philosophy. And he has written a book called The Formal Logic. And syllogism, you know, the steps in which we put a logic. So and so is so and so, therefore so and so. Bertrand Russell says the logic is only limited to syllogism. That means this is so and so, therefore, and there is no base for therefore. Only that language I convinces people, therefore. And even in Ved, Vedanta we go by reason. Because Vyasdev in his Brahma Sutra has said, Tarka Apratishtha, na, logic has no base. And Shankar says, if you go subtle, I will go more subtle. There is no aid to logic. In Bengal, there was a saying, Nave ne, tumi jabe dagai dagai, ami jabe shirai shirai. Now, my eldest brother, he has passed away now, he was one of the top mathematicians of the world counted in one or two or three. He told me, we are discussing through letters mostly. He 
he said that example of games that we are playing football and we touch it with hand the referee will give foul why in football hand is not allowed if you want to play by hand play by ball like that he says in mathematics we have a set of rules created by us if you want to change the rules change mathematics modern algebras there is a boolean algebra and this if you say it works this rockets and everything does not follow our mathematics it has its own mathematics and he said i was supposed to have interest in mathematics i was going for research also and he said that there was a famous footballer pele so for pele changing one club to another they pay millions of dollars like that the university plays me plays me and i play from that day my mathematics went down i don't want to play so in one enter science we find like that so it is a proof even in karma class i remember as a warden in nagpur in the last uh, last but one topic on mukti swamiji is telling that there is no law in the world law is only in our mind even student said science does not believe this science does not believe that reproduction can be done without sex when it came to incarnations i said in science could not produce without sex Does it mean it is proved it can be produced? When all religions talk of the same thing, Jesus had immaculate birth, Rama had immaculate birth, Krishna had immaculate birth, Thakur had immaculate birth. So that is their proof. And I, having gone through this. I told you another point. It comes here. <clears throat> Long back, Pramodanji was in charge of culture. He invited me for a lecture. Real challenges before Vedanta today, and he made a professor of Naya as the president. Now I spoke many things. I'm not telling you those details. And replied to many questions. The president, in his concluding remark, says the speaker was emotional at times. And emotion, however good, cannot replace solid reason. Now I had no occasion to reply to him. Pravindji told me make. paper out of this so you can find in january and february 2002 two articles and there i said i could reply there that we have heard it said that emotion however good cannot replace solid reason but we should know reason however solid it may appear can never replace experience and we know the difference between shallow emotion and deep feeling and this deep feeling is nearer to experience than reason and swami ekananda said a flow of 
भाव एंड नॉलेज पैरल फ्लो ऑफ भाव एंड नॉलेज गोइंग ऑफ एंड वेर दे मीट वी गेट वेदर दैट इज अर सम So reason what it will do? What does reason do? You tell me. Reason can disprove anything which is wrong. Reason cannot tell what is truth because truth is one without a second, and reason cannot proceed unless three four things are there. And the question: So that proof beyond doubt. What is the proof? Some step they arrange with it is proof. To Thakur, they told that lightning falls on the highest point. Thakur said, "I saw it fell on a small hut." Then they said that something might have happened. He said, "Whatever you say, thousand times what you say may be correct, but one time you put a spot. Where is the rule?" And in Thakur's language, your opinion, it is will of God, and this is special will of God. That's all. Now this is Narendra's mind getting influenced tremendously. One can see from this and a study of his daily life what a lack of faith he had in God, the self, the next world, etc. Western materialism and the idea that this world was all in all. Produced in the minds of persons like Narendra's father a terrible doubt about metaphysical entities, and in many cases gave rise to atheism. They had proved beyond doubt. No, who is they here? यही प्रतिपन्न कुरीते छिलो वेरी वेस्टर्न आइडियाज दे इज वेस्टर्न आइडियाज So they thought that there was nothing to learn from our ancient rishis and shastras, which taught weakness and superstition only. We cannot see them, so superstition, and we depend upon God, so weakness. i am remembering so many things here you know when uh, boy now he is quite mature alexander something happened in alex i loved alexander very much at the time something happened in alexander's life and he became depressed totally and when i came here somebody told me Now one month had already passed, and he was somewhat alright. So I asked him, "How you are somewhat alright?" He said that I was coming this side. Bajananji was going that side. We crossed, and Bajananji said, "Alexander, you study for seekers of God." 
that restored my faith to a some extent. Then I said, why not do it more and more? If that is that has given you some uh, non-dejection, should it more? He said, Swamiji has said we should not depend upon anybody. I said, you are a fool. This dependence will lead you to total independence. This is not anybody. That is what happened. So Swamiji's ideas we are taking wrongly, but Western ideas we will take. And Swamiji himself later on will. You know, Jawaharlal Nehru said in Discovery of India about Swamiji. Swamiji gave Hindus the backbone. Swamiji restored faith in the ancient teachings. And yet he was modern in his approach. So Swami himself will have to work against it completely. After learning from Thakur. And that is why again and again saying Swamiji is our ideal. And Swamiji's mistake we also do. And Swamiji comes out of that mistake with that of Thakur. We start weakness and superstitions only. Consequently, devoid of the spiritual backbone and faith in religion, they cherished one set of ideas inwardly and showed a different set outwardly. Well, hypocrisy comes. Talk something, believe something. Believing only in enjoyment. Thus becoming more and more selfish and hypocritical. The Brahma Samaj established by that great intellect Raja Ramon Roy tried for a short time to stem that countrywide tide of atheism and materialism. But under the high pressure of Western civilization, that organization too was split into two parties on account of internal quarrels. That is also Western civilization pressure, eh? and lost its splendor at last. And there were the signs noticeable in persons belonging to those two parties that they allowed themselves to be carried along by the prevailing current. Because Keshe was influenced by Thakur, became more and more Indian, so the other parties. Narendra had no peace. <laughs> this is what he learned. Narendra had no peace. As he could not know the truth, in spite of his knowledge of Western logic, sciences and philosophy. He came across Kantian philosophy. And Kant, with the help of reason, has shown that we cannot know the reality of anything, even a speck of dust. Because our mind is made of space, time and causation. They are the constituents of our mind. And whenever we try to know, we can know only through our mind. And whenever we try to know anything, our mind puts this network into that. And whatever is caught in that network, we say we know. So it is not the real nature. And this thing is known to Thakur or Indians long back. And they call it Maya, Desh Kandimitta. Now, difference between Kant and Swamiji. Kant says, he wrote a book, The Critic of Pure Reason. So when he come to this conclusion, he says, let us give up that search and see how he can live happily in the world. And he wrote another book, The Critic of Practical Reason. Narendra could not do that. 
If God is not known, if the reality is not known, our life is an ignorant, vegetating life. Just living like trees. I cannot live like that. That is the thing here. Narendra had no peace, as he could not know the truth, in spite of his knowledge of Western logic, science, etc. That means he expected that these things will give him truth. Another thing about mathematics I think. It is the German mathematicians which are analysts. So there was a German mathematician, Gauss. And Gauss started this branch called analysis. What is addition? What is subtraction? What is multiplication? What is this into that? Analyze, analyze, analyze. And he found, he thought that by analysis we will find God himself. And it proceeded for some time. Then a saying, a proverb, positive integers are given by God, the rest is the work of man. What is two, three, nobody can explain. But then integers, fractions, this and that, negative number, that is man-made and we can explain. So the system of analysis failed at that. Against that, there is another theory, engineers. That means whether this is valid or not, what we are doing is valid or not. They said, should we not eat bread because we do not understand the process of digestion? That is engineer thought. The analyst will say, you make it in digestion if you do not know the, why it is digested. Anyway, so that is the word. And we are asked to be pragmatic, practical. So, under the high influence of Western civilization, Brahma Samaj. Narendra had no peace. Narendra became well acquainted with Western science and philosophy after his FA examination in 1881. He had already mastered the doctrines of Mill and other Western logicians. There arose now a great yearning in his heart to master Descartes' doctrine centering around I, the thinker. Cogito ergo sum. He says, I exist because I think. That is cogito ergo sum. So through that Narendra is time. You meant Bentham's atheism, Spinoza's pantheism. What is pantheism? Pantheism. Theism means God. Pan means whole world. <coughs> world as it is, is God. That is pantheism. And we many times fall in this error. World is unreal. God alone is real and God appears as this world, that is Vedanta. But many people take Vedanta also as world is God. Samaji Bale Gyachin. Bhagavad Samaget Maya Chari Gata Kanji Joisha. Somebody asked Samaji, reading Samaji's books and hearing his lectures uh, when impression comes. So somebody asked Samaji, have you taught, uh, has a, haven't you taught to see God in everything? Samaji said, I never thought in thoughts of madness. I teach to see God who is in everything. Not to see God in everything. I told you to see God who is in everything. 
That means God is all my reading. And that is really realized in your own heart, not in everybody. Darwin's doctrine of evolution. Shall we discuss each of them? Swami Latran says, language may be mine, that Darwin's evolution is one fourth. Huh? Because evolution has not stopped at man. Physical evolution has stopped, no mental evolution takes place. And every evolution, Swamiji says, Patanjali has told us, is preceded by evolution. Evolution means nothing is new. Now this intelligence came. Because the intelligence is involved. And if the final result is Buddha, then that Buddha man was involved in that malas. Therefore it evolved. Now you see there is a chain. Chain means A, B, C, D. Seeing that Darwin says from A we are going to Z. Seeing the same chain, why not say we are going from Z to A? So the proofs are like that. Okay, go, huh? Evolution. Comte and Spencer's positivism. I am talking of those which are agnosticism. Agnostic. Positivism and agnosticism. What is agnosticism? There may be God, but we do not know him. We cannot know him. That is agnosticism. Agnostic has a prayer. Oh my God, if you are there, give me such and such thing if you can. And other Western philosophical doctrines in order to ascertain what was indeed real. Hearing of the great fame of the German philosophers, he tried to get acquainted as far as possible with the doctrines of Kant, Fichte, Hegel, Schopenhauer and others. Again, in order to know how the nerve and the brain are formed and how they function, he went from time to time to the Samche thoroughgoing man. He went to Calcutta Medical College with his friends and applied his man to the study of physiology and listened to the lectures on this subject. Consequently, he had much knowledge of Western philosophy even before he passed the BA degree examination in 1884. But the current of unrest flowed all the more swiftly in his mind, inasmuch as that knowledge proved clearly the utter inadequacy of the human mind and intellect. That is that kind. To define their own scope and to reveal a glimpse of the truth existing beyond that limit. Uh, to define their own scope. That means human mind cannot find its own limitations. My Guruji had a favorite sentence. The highest intelligence is that which understands the limitations of intelligence. But normal reason cannot find the limit. He has just talked about it in Maya. And yet man tries to go through reason. And to reveal a glimpse of the truth existing beyond the limit. Far less to give us a clue to the discovery of a sure means to the realization of God. That is far away. That absolute truth. God is absolute truth. And thereby to the enjoyment of eternal peace. Shanti Avena Tarvin. 8.30 my friends. But these are very important. Om Sarva Dharma Sthapakasvam 
सर्वधर्म स्वरूप का आचार्याण महाचार्यो रामकृष्णा ते नम ओं शांति 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 हरि ओम तत्सत श्री रामकृष्णार्पण